In the first episode of Color Class Lofoten, we had a look at the equipment for our trip. Apart from cameras, tripods and backpacks, our location expert, Serdar, provided a few tips on what you really need to take along when shooting photos above the Arctic Circle. Leaving Frankfurt behind us, we flew to the Lofoten Islands, 300 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Svalbard on the Lofoten, the archipelago's largest town will be our base for the next two weeks. Now I have arrived in the hotel, I'm going to unpack and set up our digital darkroom that we sent in advance from Germany. In front of the hotel, I meet Serdar again, who has already arrived with his photo tours for you party. <laughs> After a good breakfast, it is time to start planning the location. The weather is brilliant. What are we going to make of it? The first thing we should find out is what weather we can expect. The app I'm using here is WeatherPro. It's cool because you can choose the location you're interested in. Our destination today, as I said, is the rain area of the lower tip of the Lofoten. I have keyed that in as our destination. I have a subscription with them. If you have a subscription, then you receive an hourly weather forecast. Then I always look at what the weather will be like at sunset, because this is the most important for us. That happens around 8 to 9 p.m. around here, and the app says 0% clouds and 28 minutes of sunshine, so that means it's not quite 0%. So there are probably clouds up there. It looks like we will have high clouds. Actually, that's quite cool for us. I would definitely stay up all night into the sunset because you wanted to watch out for the aurora. Right. I wanted to see about aurora here. What app are you using? This here is Aurora Pro. Theoretically, our chances of seeing aurora are not too bad. We have a KP potential of four, so our chances are quite good over the next few days. At 2033, the sun goes down. At least I think so. Let's have a look. I've got my app for this too. They are really ten a penny. So I use TPE. With TPE, I can see when the sun rises and sets, roughly, so that I know. In rain, it was, for example, at 2045, and now I'm on my way down to Fredvang. There already it is 2049, four minutes difference between two places. Incredible. So let's have a look at when the sun rises. That is then Friday the 13th. Nothing can go wrong then. Yeah, nothing can go wrong then. Moonrise, moonset, sunrise. Also, the nautical sunrise at 2.17 a.m. The sun really comes over the horizon at 5.25, but our party starts at 2.17. Now we have to go back. When does the nautical end? 23.58. That means we have two hours and a few odd minutes night. Wow, it'll be super cool. So, let's get on with it. The plan is fixed. Now, let's get wrapped up warm, pack our stuff, and on the road. Even the way to our first location is really impressive. It is so unreal. The landscape is really like in the photos, but at every corner, you can look right, you can look left, and everywhere there are potential photo locations. You have to stop yourself jumping out the car and get your camera out. 
Serdar says the Lofoten look like someone has taken the Alps and sunk them in the Atlantic so that only the tips are visible. And so our first location also concentrates on the encounter between water and rock. After the long journey to get here, we can now finally do what we came to do. After sunset, we will go on the hunt for the northern lights. In April, the polar lights are seldom seen, as they have to be very strong to be visible at all in the light of the Arctic night. Now look at that. Normally you come here in February for something like that. It is now the middle of April and we are really being spoilt by nature. We are here at one of the most iconic spots on the Lofoten in Hamnoi. Right here, right now, there is really a phenomenal aurora. Everyone says you never forget the first aurora, and that will definitely be the case. I was certainly hoping to see it, and I think that this is already my highlight. The next episode of Color Class Lofoten focuses on the theme of light and exposure. Serdar will explain how you can achieve the best exposure using a histogram and how filters are used in landscape photography. Join us for the next episode of Color Class Lofoten.